Formula Ford for me is uh, learning how to grow up, learning how to respect your competitors and then becoming a racing driver. That's, that's what it is for me. Paul Morris, most young drivers go from go-karting into Formula 4, but you had a slightly unconventional way into the category. Tell us how you got involved. Uh, yeah, well I just started at the local speedway at Surface, which is where, in the middle of the old raceway, and with some mates, uh, when I first started working, saved up enough money to buy a street stock and race that for a couple of years, then the local Gemini series, one make series, which was very popular back in Queensland, and then the next logical step was Formula Ford for us, so yeah, that's what, how we got there. Do you remember the first time you drove a car, where and when and yeah. what? Yeah, we bought a, a used RF86 and myself and Troy Dunstan took it to Lakeside and, and I remember the first time I, I drove it I thought I was driving a Formula One car <laughs> compared to the Gemini, it was just the most exciting day of my life really, I, I still remember it to that day. They were pretty competitive days of the Australian Formula Ford Championship back then, what was your sort of memories of, of those three seasons that you spent in the series? My memories were, were really the friendships that I made made out of it. Like I've got, I, that's where I met Russell Ingall, that's where I met Michael Gagan, that's where I met Brett Peters. Uh, that's where I met a lot of people, Michael Quinn, like a lot of amazing people in motorsport. And we raced pretty hard back in those days, but man, we had a good time doing it as well. We were, we were always on the road. There was unlimited testing. We'd, we'd, we'd just go and test at Amory Park for a week. That was sort of the thing you'd do wear out tyres but and um, yeah it's just a, just a, it was an awesome awesome way to uh, grow up and, and see the country and learn all the tracks and, and have a good time and learn how to race really. You've had a remarkably diverse career since then what sort of grounding did driving Formula Fords give you for the rest of your career? It gave you good good race craft because if you made a mistake you plucked a wheel off the car but you still had to race very closely so it taught, taught you to uh, respect, respect the people around you and, and drive within the limits of, of, of um, open wheel racing, you know. If you, if you get too close you're upside down and, and you can get hurt. But it taught you also a lot of the fundamentals of, of how a car works. So it's springs, it's shocks, it's anti-roll bars, it's ride heights, it's brake bias, it's throttle control, it's brake control. All that stuff you need. You, ha you can't learn anywhere else except in Formula Ford, so it's it's it should be celebrated and and it's what 50 years is it? So it's fantastic. You bought one of your old cars back. You raced it yeah. at Bathurst this year. What was it like going back in time and getting back in the car? I loved it. Um, I absolutely loved it. And the biggest thing for me, last time I raced a Formula Ford, I, I raced it, but I really didn't. I, like I could do a lap time and I could race someone, and you know I could run up the front and win a race. And, and do all that stuff, but I really didn't know how I did it. Yeah. And then uh, I've learnt so much about driving since then, and that was the first time I'd, I'd driven it in that car since 1991. So uh, yeah, to get back in it and understand the fundamentals of and technique of being a race driver just proved me what a great training ground Formula Ford is.